It's time once again for your daily news update with Dennis Daly. Now here's Dennis with today's report. Hi and thanks again everybody. The Federal Trade Commission says it is cracking down on con artists who are targeting unemployed people with promises that they can make money while still working at home. According to the commission, it is asking federal courts to shut down seven companies charged with selling schemes on the Internet. Additionally, the Justice Department is pursuing criminal action in 44 cases, with state attorneys general pursuing 18 more. Currently, about 15 million people are out of work in this country. That is nearly double the number when the current recession began. Another 11 million people are working part-time, but would rather work full-time, or who have become discouraged and given up looking for work at all. Among several cases announced were charges against a company called Entertainment Work Incorporated. It lists jobs for television and movie actors. One company charged as much as $90 for access to a website that promised scam-free work-at-home jobs. Speaking of the recession, the city of New Orleans, still celebrating after the Super Bowl and Mardi Gras, is getting a grant as part of the stimulus package. The Regional Transportation Authority tells media it beat out some very long odds to win a $45 million federal grant that will pay the full cost of a new streetcar line. It will go along Loyola Avenue from the Union Passenger Terminal to Canal Street. The line could be in operation in about two years. 1,400 cities vied for various monies. Only three got rail transportation grants. The other two were Dallas and Tucson. The new streetcar line will be dubbed the French Quarter Loop. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.